Hey angels, good morning. Good morning, God bless you family. So, um, I'm actually just getting myself together for today, but I need to put this video up because I felt led by God to share this video for you guys today. And it's like God is taking me through this whole full circle moment over the last five years and the things that I've been through, right? So I'm going to be sharing with you guys today a video um, that was actually from an experience five years ago. I went to Generational Beauty five years ago. And I want you guys to actually check the video out. Um, the video is on my channel. It was posted three years ago. So I guess it took me some time to figure out what was going on with that experience before I actually came out and did the story time and talked about it. But um, I'm gonna share it with you guys today. And I actually have a special word for you guys, a 22 word for you guys today that God gave me. And I feel like all of this is in alignment. Somehow it's in correlation the way God has me putting this together, okay? So take this little five-year journey back with me. And also you guys get to see how much I've grown just, just, just don't come for me, okay, sis? Don't come for me, bro, all right? So I love you guys so much. Watch the video. Don't worry about um the text message that comes through from my daughter, Eliza. Don't worry about it. It's fine because I was just screen recording it for you guys. Check it out, okay? Five years ago, okay? My dreams are coming true, okay, angels? And God is saying today, your dreams are coming true true as well and i feel like all of this ties in to the cinderella message and the blessings that god is about to outpour on us i love you guys and i'll see you guys shortly your girl Alicia and I'm coming to you today with another video in this video today I'm actually going to be doing a story time and I'm sure you can already tell by the title this story time is about the time that I met Michelle Fawn if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel my name is Alicia please make sure you hit that subscribe button and become one of my precious angels if you are already one of my precious angels you guys know I love you so much I appreciate you guys so much and uh, without further ado, let's just dive right into this story time. Okay, Angel, so first and foremost, let's just paint the picture. Um, not sure if you guys know who Michelle Fine is, but if you watch YouTube, you should definitely know who Michelle Fine is. Michelle Fine is a YouTube creator, um, beauty influencer. Um, she is just so many things. She is the owner of ipsy generation beauty she has her own community ipsy os and she just does a lot for the beauty community she has makeup and just so much more she hasn't really been putting out content lately because she's working on other dreams that she has but i was blessed enough to have an opportunity to meet her so if you guys follow me you would know that last year i went to generation beauty um, this was in San Francisco. I was actually invited out there by Ipsios. And um, I got free tickets to go out there and everything. And Generation Beauty is a two-day event. I'm like four. A two-day event, guys. And it's just uh, it's amazing. It's just like, um, you know, beauty con and stuff like that. It's an awesome opportunity to network. And, you know, you just um, get a chance to get in contact with a lot of different brands, a lot of different makeup lovers, makeup artists, enthusiasts, YouTubers, content creators, social media influencers. Like, it is just the place to be if you are a social media influencer. Michelle was downstairs because in the building, it was actually two levels. This building was huge. And she was on a lower level and she was doing meet and greets. And at these different events, they'll have like um, an itinerary and like blocks of time where you can meet different creators and stuff like that. This was like her creator slot for her to like, you know, do her meet and greet. So me and my friend Maisha, she, um, she's a content creator as well. Well, she just took a break from YouTube or whatever. But me and her actually... Um, decided that we was going to go downstairs to see if we can see what's going on downstairs at the time we didn't know that michelle was having a meet and greet or any of that 
And um, we was just going downstairs to see if, you know, we can get in any other lines, try to get to Milani, check out some other booths and stuff like that. So, girl, when we get downstairs, we realize, okay, Michelle is having a meet and greet. So, I'm like, oh, my God. It looked like it's literally probably like 10 people in this line. And it's like a guy standing there with a board, like, you know. And I'm like, normally when you see the guy standing there with the board, that means like the line is closed. I'm like, please don't tell me this line is closed because I don't care to meet nobody else. But I definitely want to meet Michelle because, you know, she is, you know, the creator of, you know, Ipsios and everything like that. And I wanted to like be able to thank her, you know, for creating this platform for us as content creators and everything like that. I told Maisha, stand in line and I'm going to go and see if, you know, this is the end of the line that they cut off or whatever. So she stood right there in line, like right in line, guys. Like, and me and her was the cutoff point. Like, tell me that's not God, y'all. So me and her was the cutoff point, and everybody was going up there one by one, just saying hi to Michelle and everything like that. And then my friend Maisha went, she went up there, and, you know, I can't hear what's going on. This place is, like, freaking loud. But it's like, hi, or whatever. And her and Maisha, you know, just basically said hi. She gave her a hug or whatever, and, you know, she got their autograph or whatever. She really didn't talk much to anybody. It was just like, hi, how are you? You know, what's your name? and then autograph or a picture and then that's it so when it's my turn to go up i am the last person in line guys the last person in line and i go up there and i'm excited and i'm like eh. you guys know i'm like extra just like happy so i go up there and i'm like hey michelle whatever and she was like hey girl hi whatever and um, she was like, what's your name? And as she was saying, what's your name? I was already saying like, my name is Alicia. And she was like, where are you from? And I was like, I'm from Philadelphia. She was like, oh my God, it's so nice to meet you. She was like, you came all the way here from Philadelphia. And I was like, yes, I wasn't going to miss this opportunity. Like I try not to miss any opportunities that's presented in front of me. And she was like, oh my God. Like she was just like this angel. Like she was just smiling the whole time. And I'm just like, why is she smiling like and she was just like you are so beautiful she was like oh my god she was just like she was like look at my arm she was like you are literally giving me chills she was like you're giving me goosebumps she was like your energy is amazing she was just like you are amazing you are just so beautiful and then she looked down and she seen like i had the creator badge on um, cause Ipsy will give you creator badges if, you know, you're there as a creator, if you were sent there as a creator. She was like, oh my God, you're a creator. And I was like, yes. And I just wanted to say thank you because I was sent out here on behalf of Ipsy. And, um, I just really appreciate you, like, creating this platform, like, for all of us as influencers to just really be ourselves and stuff. And she was just like, so who invited you? And I'm just like... I don't know. I don't even know who invited me. That's the crazy thing. And she was just looking like, you know, I wonder who invited her. She just looked at like, mm. And that to me was like the grace of God anyway. Like, she don't even know who invited me. Obviously, somebody on her team somehow got, in, got a hold of my channel, got a hold of me or something. And they invited me, you know. So I was so happy. Like, you could just tell God was all over the entire situation. She was like, look at me how long have you been doing YouTube? And I was like, I've been doing YouTube for about like, I don't even think a full year yet, or it's been about a year. I, I wasn't sure. And she was like, um, I was like, I've just started to be consistent, you know? And she was just like, look at me. And she was like gazing into my eyes. And she was like, I want you to give YouTube two years, two years of dedication. And I promise you some amazing things is going to happen for you. And I'm just like, like, okay, okay. And I'm, like, literally ready to cry, but I'm not crying. But I'm, like, I can feel my eyes, like, wanting to water up because, to me, it was so amazing. Everything about that meeting was amazing. So, I got her autograph, and I still have it. Like, I just, you know, try to remember every little thing that goes on along my YouTube journey because God has just been blessing me so much and I try to always give back to you guys in a way to, like, bless you guys any way that I can help. You know, I'm always here for you guys. 
and it just was so amazing when after I gave her a hug and everything she was just like holding me tight for like two whole minutes it was just like she needed my vibe and I was just like wow that's just so amazing to me like this this woman knows nothing about me yet she's so drawn to me so I walked down and as I'm walking away my friend Maisha was just like oh my god what did she say to you like I'm so jealous like and I'm just like telling Maisha everything she said and everything and Maisha was like I'm so happy for you sis and everything but you know I could tell she wanted that experience too, which if it was vice versa, I would have wanted that same experience too. Like, you know, everybody was wondering like, what does she, she have to say to this girl? She has so much to say, but you know, she didn't really say nothing to any of us, you know? So I still have the picture that we took and I'll try to insert the picture in the order graph here for you guys. Um, also what was amazing is on the way out, everybody was cleaning up and stuff like that. And my phone died. My phone died and my husband was at the hotel because he flew over to San Francisco with me. So he was waiting for me to meet up with him. But I had to Uber back. In order for me to Uber back, I had to be able to call the Uber because my phone had died. I couldn't call. So they had like charging stations set up all around the event. So I had um, walked over to like this charging station. At the time, the place was like almost vacant. It was like a few people just like, you know, trying to clean up and do different things. And I was trying to charge my phone. And um, it was like this one lady behind me <laughs> of all people. And I turned around, I'm like, excuse me, I really don't mean to bother you, but um, do you know if they have another charging station over here because that one's not working? And she was just like, oh my God, it's not working? Like, let me see. She was so nice and she came up and she checked it. It wasn't working. So she showed me where another charging station was. And I was just like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, I really cannot thank you enough because my phone died. I need to call Uber. Da, da, da. Like, I was just like, and she was like, um, no problem, no problem. She was like, you are so beautiful. She just stopped what I, like, what I was saying. She was like, you are just so beautiful. I was like, oh, Zay, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And she was just like, yeah. She was just like, um, are you a creator? And I was like, yeah. And I showed her my badge and she was just like, oh my God, you are a creator. She was just like, you are gorgeous, girl. She was like, keep doing what you're doing. I was like, thank you so much. I was like, can I ask you your name? And um, she told me her name, which I'm not going to say, but she told me her name and come to find out, she was like part of Ipsy's um, PR team somehow. She was like their um, manager or something. She was in the PR department somehow. And even she didn't even know who invited me. She was like, so how did you get here or whatever? Like I said, um, yeah, Ipsy invited me and she was just like, who? And I was just like, I don't even know. Like, literally, I don't even think, I don't even know if it was a signature on the email that said, you know, who it was. Like, I would literally have to go back right now and see if it had a signature on there. But I just remember getting the tickets and the invite out and everything. And, you know, I was communicating with somebody. You know, I got the tickets and everything. They had me on the list. I got my creator badge. I got my goodie bags. I got everything. Like, so I really don't know. But, you know, in my mind, in my heart, it was God. You know, it was an angel. He wanted for me to be there. So that is where I was. So me and her ended up exchanging information and she ended up taking down my Instagram and everything like that. And that was an amazing connection that I built on top of me and Michelle. So if you guys take anything away from this story, take away the fact that God is real and everything is in his perfect time. And like, you know, don't look at somebody that has a million subscribers and be like, oh my God, I'm never going to get to a million subscribers or oh my God, like she gets all these sponsorship opportunities and she gets all this and all that because I'm not a big channel and I've got a lot more opportunities than a lot of people. And um, I've worked with several brands. I've done plenty of sponsorships. I've been invited to over five five different events. Um, I've actually attended at least three or four of these events. Um, I've been to Gem Beauty, BeautyCon. You guys know I just had the event with Revlon. Like, 
if God wants for you to be somewhere or get something, there is nothing or no one that can stop you from getting to where you are supposed to be. So just stay patient and trust the journey. It doesn't matter if YouTube is your thing or something else is your thing. Just don't give up. Stay encouraged. Know and trust and believe that God, the universe, is going to bring you all good things because you are doing what you love to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And if you guys would like more stories, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this story if you would like more stories. And you guys already know I love you so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels.